Hello students, welcome to Baiju's exam prep and there's an important update coming for all the engineering aspirants. Yes, that is from the Department of Atomic Energy, DAE, under the Bhabha Atomic Research Center, BAC, okay, has announced the recruitment of scientific officers, okay, into the DAE, okay, then that's, we all know it's a Group A post, uh, you know, under the Government of India. So, you know, this notification this time is coming up, you know, quite early, it's almost uh, December end only, but the exam dates, the interview dates are more or less on the trend lines only, okay, and it's the recruitment for both once again that is the OCES and the DGFS so let's go through about this update okay so that all the aspirants preparing for gate uh, are also alert ki, you know the notifications are parallelly which notifications are parallelly out okay so everything has been mentioned you know the what are the schemes of employment the grade and the pay scale selection process eligibility criteria how to apply about the online examination and what branches can apply normally the regular engineering branches can definitely apply and then important dates also I'll tell you Okay, so as you all know, there are always, you know, uh, the two recruitments, the two uh, types of scheme here, that is the OCES, that is the Orientation Course for Engineering Graduates and Science Postgraduate and the DA Graduate Fellowship Scheme, okay, that is also known as the DGFS, okay, I'll tell you about them, but yeah, you know, I think earlier we have already made videos because many aspirants applying for GIT are always confused between what is OCES and DGFS, okay, so I think we have already made a separate video on this, it will be available on the same channel, okay, so, you know, this is for the recruitment of the post of scientific officer, see, okay, first you will be, you know, absorbed, uh, under the training process, there will be one year training uh, under the OCS. I'll tell you about the details of that. Yeah, here it starts. Okay, let me start with the uh, one year orientation course for engineering graduates and science postgraduate. That is the OCES. Okay, now they will be conducted at five training schools situated at Mumbai, Kalpakam, Indore, and Hyderabad. Okay, now. Okay, a trainee scientific officer, initially you are a TSO, that is a trainee scientific officer, okay, who scores a minimum of 50% aggregate marks on completion of successful training, or on the completion of training programs, and this is a very nominal, most, mostly everybody achieves this, okay, is declared to have passed the course successfully, and then such successful TSUs will be posted as the scientific officer, okay, starting with the grade C, okay, in, in any one of the uh, following DA, DA units that you can, you know, uh, have a look into it, okay. Right. Chalo. Now, achha. also, uh, this, uh, with OCES, there's one more situation that can be there. The TSO, the training scientific officer who successfully complete the training program and whose performance meets a minimum eligibility criteria are also allowed to enroll for MTech. Okay, uh, you know, in HBNI, that is Homi Bhava National Institute, a deemed university. Okay, so you can also later on see right now, you know, uh, if you're immediately looking for job and, you know, dream is to conquer uh, the scientist post as of now. So you can immediately join the organization like Bark, how the recruitment procedure is, how the exam procedure is, I'll tell you. Okay, so, uh, you know, and then you, you know, if within internally also, if you have a minimum uh, eligibility criteria meeting some basic parameters, you can enroll for MTech directly in the HBNI, okay, which is also a deemed university. Now, if I talk about the DGFS, that is a two-year DAE graduate fellowship scheme for engineering graduates, okay, so now, what is there under this scheme? Okay, the engineering graduates who have excelled in the selection interview, of course, you know, uh, interview, uh, written and interview, there are two phases, okay, written ke liye gate score ka bhi parallel option hota hai, we'll talk about that. Okay, so have excelled in the selection interview for Bark Training School and who have also independently secured admission for MTech in select institutes, okay, which is specified uh, in the upcoming table number three. So yes, here you should have independently secured admission for MTech in some of the select institutes, okay, and then if you select, uh, if you are you know, also performing in the selection interview, then you can apply this particular uh, program that is the DGFS. Okay, so after successful completion of one year coursework at the institute, at your MTech institute, the DGFS fellow undertake project work which is assigned. Now normally in MTech what happens, okay, if you are doing an independent MTech only, of course first year is always coursework and second year it is mostly project. So here also, okay, first year will be coursework at the respective institute wherever you have enrolled for the MTech but other than that, the project work second year, it is not only, uh, you know, uh, the MTech project assigned by the institute, assigned by your uh, guide, that particular MTech project is assisted by both the DAE and the institute where you are doing the MTech. Okay, so th that is a major difference here. Okay, and then once you successfully complete the uh, MTech, the DGFS fellows are posted. Of, of course, again, you are giving the final posting as scientific officers in the DAE. Okay, okay, and you'll be a Group A gadgeted officer for the government of India. Okay, of course, this recruitment is Group A gadgeted post only. 
Okay, now, 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 some more important points. Okay, so during uh, the MTech, okay, before we talk about the pay scale, initially you are in the training period. If even if you opt for OCS, you are in the training period uh, for one year, and if you are going for uh, DGFS, then you are into MTech for uh, the two years. Okay, so look here. Okay, if you are OCS TSO, uh, technical scientific officer, you will be having a stipend of fifty five thousand per month during the period of training and some book allowance one time that is eighteen thousand. Okay, at the same time, okay DGFS they are paid the stipend of fifty five thousand for the entire two years. Okay, now normally uh, if you are doing a regular M Tech. Okay, after qualifying gate, you get a stipend of twelve thousand four hundred. Currently, it may increase also, but right now twelve thousand four hundred. But here, if you are doing okay, the M Tech in the specified institutes under the DGFS program, you get the stipend of straight fifty five thousand per month for the complete two years. Okay, and also the entire tuition fee. I mean, the entire tuition fee and all also wherever you are doing the M Tech is a, is you know bared by the uh, bar only the, Dep the Department of Atomic Energy. Okay, and one time contingency grant of forty thousand also. Okay, uh, to meet your project. related expenses okay uh, some more important points theek okay. hai yeah finally when uh, you are recruited finally full time as a scientist officer see okay you will be in the level 10 okay of the central pay commission and you all know level pay uh, government employee how high good the salary is okay so if you talk about the basic monthly remunerations okay uh, which includes da hra and transport allowances will be approximately 120000 provided a government 100% secured job it's a very decent thing and in addition of course you get several benefits like lta even by air okay every year matlab some leave travel session will be there okay Uh, you know every year up to the first eight years and once in two years thereafter. Okay, so start of eight years, so you you know okay when when is when when actually you have the age of you know roaming around here and there, so you can use this policy. Okay, the children education allowance. Okay, performance related. Okay, health schemes will be there. Yeah, that is also mentioned. Okay, so government will take care of everything. Okay, your leaves, your leave, uh, your your leave uh, vacations as well. Your children's education, your health, not only your health. Okay, the health policy for you and your dependents. Everything will be taken care of. And other than that, at one lakh twenty. Thousand in addition, you definitely have that. Now let's come to the selection process. It is very regular as always. Okay, the selection will comprise of two stages. Number one, okay. Number one is the screening. Number two is the selection interview. Now screening, okay. You have both the options: gate score as well as the bar written online examination. Okay, so on the online exam as well as on the gate score, and there is one more option they have mentioned this time. Okay, that is for you know I'll, I'll tell that is a very specific thing, but I'll give you a slight hint about that the CBS or uh, NISER which is written here. Okay, so number one, uh, okay, you know see selection interview to everybody has to go. Okay, you have to reach a selection interview. That is the final stage. You can't skip it. But how do you reach a selection interview? Number one, on the basis of online examination, there will be online examination conducted in the month of March. Okay, but if you actually go to the website, na, ये तो उसका पूरा detailed brochure. If you go to the website, even in the March they have mentioned the date, sixteenth and seventeenth March. Okay, look into it. Online examination, sixteenth and seventeenth March. Okay, so the date is also pretty much clear. Okay, it's somewhere around when the gate results are being declared. Okay, but the best part is, you know, approximately one month. Uh, you know, yeah, it's slightly more than one month after the gate exam. So you have good amount of time to revise up for this particular online examination as well. Okay. ठीक है नाउ सेकेंडली ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ गेट स्कोर ओके सो इफ यू आर वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट दैट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट अ वेरी गुड गेट स्कोर या यू हैव ऑलरेडी गॉट सम गेट स्कोर इन इट्स इट्स थ्री इयर्स अगेन दिस टाइम ओके ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ गेट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड ट्वेंटी फोर ओके यू कैन अप्लाई ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द पास थ्री स्कोर आई थिंक एज वेल एज फार एज आई बिलीव अर्लियर इट वॉज ओनली ऑन बेसिस ऑफ प्रीवियस टू गेट स्कोर ओके I believe ninety percent. मुझे ऐसे ही याद आ रहा है. Okay, at least it was two years, but this time it is three years. Even gate twenty two, twenty three, and twenty four aspirants are eligible to apply. Okay, and the third, as I told you, this is very uh, specific one on the basis of CGPA of CBS and NISER. Okay, so what is this? Okay, by chance, if anybody graduated or graduating with master's degree in physics, chemistry, and biosciences from University of Mumbai DAE Center for Excellence in Basic Sciences (CBS), that is CBS, or NISER, the National Institute of Science Education and Research. So by chance. Okay, if you are you know completing on the basis of this, okay, and your CGPA is seven point five or above, then you can uh, uh, skip the online exam or the gate score as well. Okay, now chalo, now chalo. Okay, very very important point. Every time they mention that you, at the time of application, you can choose not only one of the selection, not only one of the screening process, you can select more than one also. And of course, guys, what is the cut off? Okay, uh, what is the cut off uh, through the gate score? That is only mentioned once uh, the results are out. Once the cut off uh, result is out, so they always advise, and even we advise you fill both. Okay, fill the screenings process both through gate. 
Okay, because even gate examination is not yet conducted. Right? So you don't know what your gate performance is. And take a second chance also. Okay, that is the online examination. That is the bark online examination. That is going to be month in May. Because even if there is some ups and downs in gate, you have another one, one and a half months to, you know, uh, re revise and go for the bark online examination. Okay, okay. So uh, they also clearly mention, okay, candidates are advised to maximize their chance of being screened into selection interview by availing, okay, one or more than the screening channels. Okay, one or more of the screening channels. Okay. Chalo. Now, selection interview will be conducted in Mumbai and Hyderabad. Uh, Hyderabad Geology and all other disciplines uh, will be in Mumbai only. Okay. Now, interview probable period they have mentioned May, June. But again, if I go to the website, again, if I go to the website, so have a look into the interview. Selection interview. Okay. 14th May to 16th June is the slot mentioned. Of course. Okay. They will specify your particular slot, which day your interview is. But this is a slot. Okay. Mid-May to mid-June, you can expect the interview happenings. Okay. Uh, you can expect the interview happenings here. Right, G? Okay, so rest all the basic eligibility criteria, the branches eligible. Okay, so, you know, I'll share you this PDF. I'll share you this link in the Telegram. You can go through it later on as well. Okay, rest other than that, which are important dates, if we talk about Just a second. How to apply that you can go through. Let me see if there is something else that I need to tell you here or else I'll tell you the important dates at least. Okay. Ha, huh, very, very important online exam pattern. Okay, because we are advising you, even the BARC is advising you to apply through both. Okay, the BARC online examination as well as the gate score. Okay, so all the questions of online exam will be objective type. Okay, multiple choice questions with only one correct choice. MCQ questions only, the gate MCQ pattern. Each correct answer fetches three marks, regular pattern like bark. Okay, while each correct incorrect answer has a penalty of one third. That is one minus one. One third of three is one mark here. Okay, no marks awarded question not attempted while answering a question. Candidate will not be allowed to choose more than one option, of course. Okay, you can skip a question. There will be 100 questions in all. Okay, the design that a good candidate will be able to answer 100 questions in 120 minutes. So, what is The questions are so designed that a good candidate will be able to answer 100 questions in 120 minutes that means of course some questions are tricky but most of the questions okay if you have thoroughly studied the syllabus okay is achievable the syllabus is specific to the science engineering examination discipline which a candidate has selected okay so uh, yes uh, very clearly mentioned general english general knowledge aptitude are not assessed only technical only technical of course that will that will include some engineering maths but only technical examination it is okay so i think it is very clear now okay 100 questions will be there each question three mark negative mark or one mark and the duration of the exam is 120 minutes that is the two hours okay the very important exam details are also updated to you okay now let us go to some important uh, dates so see commencement of online registration that is 30th of december that is just today correct that is from today okay the online registration starts and it is going to be there for one month that is 30 of january okay but if you are sure you are you are willing uh, your dream is to become scientific officer scientist in the bark okay definitely start filling up as early as possible okay so uh, then Online exam date anyways, I told you. Okay, Achha, if you are applying through gate, so last date for updating the gate score will be 19th March to 24th March. Online examination will be 16th March and 17th March. Okay, so yeah, first week of April, okay, the students who are shortlisted for interview either by gate or either by the online examination that will be displayed in the first week of April. Okay, now, uh, you know, you will be asked to require, choose your particular uh, interview slot. Okay, and then the interviews, as we mentioned, it is 14th May to 16th June slot given. And the final uh, selection list, the final result will be in the last week of June. A very transparent system, all dates, exam pattern, everything has been mentioned. Okay, syllabus pretty much similar to, uh, you know, uh, the gate syllabus. But what are the expected areas? Uh, you know, we'll, we'll be definitely uh, talking about this in a separate video. What are the important areas based on branch to branch? Na? It depends on uh, the branch of every student. Okay. Okay. Chalo guys, so that's it. Uh, this was uh, complete details about uh, the BARC 2024 recruitment okay, by the Department of in in Atomic Energy for OCES as well as the DGFS. Okay, so bye-bye. All the very best for the GATE exam and then the upcoming BARC online exam. Fill by both. And if you are by chance a GATE 22 or 23 aspirant, have done already good in GATE, then also you are eligible to apply for this. Okay, so all the very best for all the future exams that is coming up for you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Stay safe and take care.